There's a piece of land down Horden Way where miners used to work both night and day. My oh my did them miners work hard to get that coal out of that pit yard. It's plain enough to see. In fact, anyone can see that Horden's a colliery village on the northeast coast right next to Peter Lee and Horden is beside the sea. Yes, I, I was asked to open it. Uh, I was the first speaker saying the poem, which I've just done for you. And um, I quite enjoyed it. I think it might have been curiosity, but they all came out to see what was going on. They were saying that they couldn't really understand it, but then when they actually saw it, and they understand when I was speaking my poem, it was sending flashes of light from one signal to another. And it was like Blackpool Illuminations had come to Horden. In this project, the process of figuring out what it was, who would be involved, how people would be involved, what they would do, that actually is the project in a sense. We went through so many different iterations uh, of, of what the project might be and voice emerged in some of our early uh, discussions uh, with the community very early on. The idea of having a voice and of public speaking and of, of, of being able to share stories and opinions somehow in public. The way the project developed was essentially to, to create almost like an excuse for people to talk with each other. To see people I know throughout the community take on board a project of this size, some very fearful, some not wanting to record, not wanting to speak, not knowing what to say, then realising actually people were going to listen and so actually stepping up and going, do you know what, I have got something to say. And even if that was kids singing in the booths, well, if you knew those kids and you knew the big difference that made to them, to actually have that, you know, and to actually be able to sing and have it broadcast throughout the street, and you can't put a price on that and what that achieved. And they were all involved in one way or another. And this Horden, East Durham, now all has this in common. I think the community in Horden have been really supportive about voiceover, and I've been so overwhelmed with what's happened and how they've supported it. I mean, we started off with barely any houses signed up and what's happened is people have got other people involved. So neighbours have been talking to neighbours and that has just absolutely exceeded all of our expectations. And also, interestingly, um, people have been coming down to the community centre, Rosebury Road and Eastern Crates have been in there doing craft activities. We've had food and drink on by the local volunteers. We've had a quiz and people have actually chosen to come down as well as the installation going on to spend time with each other because they wanted to. So in so many more ways than we could have imagined it's brought people closer together and that's exactly what we were hoping for. In the beginning people were quite dubious, they didn't understand it, they didn't know what it was about but when we started putting the word out and telling people what it was going to be and why they were doing it I think people got on board so now it's 33, isn't it, Who in this area? I think that's fantastic. I just feel really happy because really around here we don't like get to do things like what's free and there's like nothing that really happens around here. So like this is the first opportunity that, that we could like take part in too. I just hope people talk and there's yeah. no, no need for people to ignore each other, especially neighbours and when you live so close, why can't people interact and be friendly? It is a risk that you take in working in this way, but that's part of what Easter and Crates is all about. We're trying new things and actually, even though we couldn't say what it was going to end up like eventually, even though we had an idea, what we could say was that it is completely unique to this area.